Hey guys, my name is Crystal and thank you for tuning into Chris Coes. If you haven't already, hit the like button, notification bell if you will, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get right into the video. All right, so this is going to be the time where me and my co-worker got into it. <laughs> okay, so you know I'm not about that life. It's def definitely not anymore. But um, this is going to be a time where I was at my old place of employment. So that's for you all that watch my channel, Men's Warehouse. So I was working on Cop Parkway, the location on Cop Parkway. And we were really busy like normal. And I was a salesperson at the time. So I have a customer and the other coworker, we're going to call her. Oh, we're going to call her Jezebel because she was super manipulative. Okay. <laughs> so I had a customer. We're super busy. We run it around like chickens with a hair cut off. And that's like the norm. But I'm about that life. I'm with it. It makes the day go by faster. I don't mind being busy. But I do mind foolishness. That's the Friday. Okay. <laughs> so I have a customer. And I'm like helping the customer. I'm talking to him and all that. And I'm hearing like a whole lot of back and forth going on with my co-worker and another customer and i hear her um who did this who did this and she was like i think she was from up north or something like that no shade to people from up north again um but like she was like pretty loud okay <laughs> so she was like um so, do you remember who helped you do you remember who helped you now for those of you that operate in customer service or had worked in that industry you know that it shouldn't matter who helped them originally. You should be wanting to take care of them. Whatever the issue may be, you should be wanting to fix that issue, okay? Because at the end of the day, we are a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So my customer, I put my customer in the fitting room and then I walk over and I notice it's a guy um that i helped earlier i think it was like earlier in the week or something like that now this guy he was a different type of build so he was like very very slim so a lot of times when you're really really slim and you have broad shoulders your coat size is never the size of the pants that goes with that suit okay so he was aware of this he was looking for a sport coat that suit is what fit him the best and we was running a sale i think it was like 279 um, designer suits which is really good for men's warehouse pricing so he was okay with that he said you know i'll just come get alterations done on the pants i know it's going to be a whole lot of work he was aware of this okay so he gets um so apparently he's getting measured he's getting measured or tailored for this suit but he pretty much needed a whole recut but keep in mind he was already aware this was a quick sale a week ago so dude wasn't complaining he wasn't like upset or anything like that so obviously what she was doing was making the situation worse <laughs> so he said you know um it's not a big deal blah, blah blah he's like um i do have some stuff i gotta take care of so if this is gonna take a while i'm just gonna come back because we were busy he must real nice dude very friendly very cool i remember him so i said okay um, no problem. I like kind of take over because she was just doing too much. So I was just like, do you mind if I, you know, proceed since you're looking for who helped him? I said, you know, do you mind if I continue it? Since my guy was in the fitting room, I, I do, I multitask. This is what I do. Okay. <laughs> so apparently she took offense to that. So she storms off at this point. I don't care, you know, feel however you'd like to feel. Okay. So Jezebel storms off. I finished helping the dude. He said he's going to bring it back. If he has to do a recut, that's fine. But I figured, okay, if it's too much work for the tailor to do, with customer service, again, we'll just end up exchanging, damaging it out, whatever we have to do to take care of the customer. So after he leaves, I'm still helping my customer, right? And she's like, 
How are you going to talk to me like that? I was like, like what? <laughs> Keep in mind, my customer is standing in front of me, okay? She's like, like I'm a child. Like, I can't handle a situation. And na 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 Loud. Shouting across the floor. And I said, because I said, you being loud and asking who helped him wasn't fixing the situation. Now, the way I'm talking right now is the way I was talking to her. Now, back in the day, I would handle this a whole nother way. But this day, I just wasn't about it. I was like, you know what? I'm not about to go toe to toe with you. It's a customer standing in front of me. I'm not in a bad mood. I don't care. I don't care. So she's like, I'm not, I'm not a child. You're not going to talk to me like that. How are you going to talk to me, treat me like that? Blah, blah, blah. Again, I said, because you're loud on the floor. And I look at my customer. He looks at me. We both like, what is happening? <laughs> so she's still yelling, still yelling. And then she storms into the back. So I finish up with my customer like nothing even happened. He leaves. And then somebody comes to me, um, one of our other co-workers. I'm not even going to put him in the story because he's irrelevant to this store time. But he's like, oh, she's crying in the back. I was like, who's crying in the back? He's like, Jezebel, she's crying in the back. I'm like, so now you want to play victim. <laughs> okay. So I'm just like. Are you serious? So I just act like I, I didn't even know. I'm just like, yeah, if she wants to cry, she's a grown woman. This lady is like 10 years older than me. If I have that much power over you, that's sad, period. So one of our managers, um, I'm not going to give him a name. I'm going to give him a name in another story time because I have a lot of story times for him. <laughs> but he calls me to the back. And we're all in the back, kumbaya, okay? He starts talking about what happened. She starts telling her side, dun, 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 dun. and she's over-exaggerating everything. So at this point, I'm just like, we're still busy. I don't have time for this, okay? So I said, yeah, I said, we'll handle this when it's not a ton of customers on the floor. So I go back on the floor. So the next day, it's all this commotion about it. She's still bringing it up to um the man like management and all that. So we go back in the back, and he's talking to us about it, sitting down about it, and he's just saying, you know, because you can't come off very aggressive, <laughs> and you know, you you are violent. <laughs> Keep in mind. Keep in mind, you guys, this manager, this manager in particular that's talking to us right now, he's known me since I was probably like 14, 15. No, maybe maybe 16. 16. I, I'm almost positive 14, 15, so we're probably going to go with that. But I said violent. I said, when have you ever known me to be violent? He said, you know, you got into that fight. I said, that one fight. I said, in how many years I've been on this earth? And that fight was in grade school. I wasn't the cause of it. And not to mention when you saw me after the fact, because I wasn't working for the company then. That's why I say he's known me for a very long time. And I said, and when you saw me after the fact, you looked at my face and asked, what does she look like? And laughed at me traumatizing <laughs> so i'm just like so where do you get this violent from just because i don't take things lying down i'm like just because you feel intimidated that's not my problem i've never been violent never have never will be so moving on okay so he like he just pretty much did that 
heals that because he already knows like you're, you're reaching you're definitely reaching so she even said so i i said to her i said was i aggressive with you she says no but i, I said okay okay that's all i asked <laughs> and i said okay so was i shouting at you no but oh, <laughs> that's all i asked so what in what way did i disrespect you crickets keep in mind after another incident I'm, that's gonna be another story time after another incident i end up getting written up and they use this as a reference to that keep in mind what she already admitted she admitted in the back that she went overboard and was shouting on the floor where i was not still kept it professional but when i say the foolishness was real, okay? The foolishness was real. So, make a long story short because it's going to be a real quick Foolishness Friday because I am exhausted, not going to lie to you. <laughs> but after the fact, my manager ends up taking her side, all that, even though after she admitted that she was the aggressor in her her exact words <laughs> that she was the aggressor just because she's boohooing in the black boohooing in the back you know how it's that angry black woman and she was not black i'm not even gonna go into what ethnic she was because i'm not i'm not here for that on this channel we're not about to go into that on this channel okay but you know angry black woman stereotype but i learned i say this foolishness friday to say that we're not don't feed into the foolishness okay even with that whole situation i can look back on that and think that honestly i don't know if i could have handled that any better <laughs> other than completely ignoring her that's what i should have did but when i say so many more stories to go into what went on in that store but we're going to get that get into that in another Foolishness Friday. So, here's a quick short video for you all. Just to, you know, end the week off nice. And I thank you all for tuning in to Chris Code. Once again, my name is Crystal. Thank you all for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Notification bell, if you will. Comment, subscribe, and yeah. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye.